We're going on an adventure with the new water shark cards to see what they can do. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So we are actually going to have some pretty interesting gameplay here for you with the new shark showcase actually against Tempai Dragons of all things. And I, I think that, you know, we're still in the rough phases of testing considering the fact, you know, we've only had these for a little while, um, which, you know, does leave a little bit. And we're actually against Tempai Dragons. Oh boy. Talk about meta challengers out here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to seventh Tachyon here, which lets you reveal a number exceed monster in your extra deck that has a number between 101 and 107. You get locked in to exceeds for the rest of this turn, but you can add a monster with the same type and or attribute or and a level equal to its rank from your deck to your hand and place a card from your hand on the top of your deck. All right, so we're going to go ahead. This will resolve. We're going to go ahead and grab Big Jaws here. All right, we're going to go ahead and stack back. Now, Big Jaws, during your main phase, uh, if a spell card was activated, you can swap some of this card, which, hey, look at that, free stuff. We're also locked into Xyz, not like we weren't before. And then on normal, especially, you can add a fish or shark, or yeah, you can add a fish shark monster from your deck to your hand. All right, and then you can treat this as a three or five for an Xyz summon. So we're going to go ahead and get Valored. Well, you know what? That's fine. We really were trying here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to commit our normal summon to the Xyz Remora. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a Bahamut Shark here. They're going to go ahead and attempt to deploy this Magna Hut here just so they can go ahead and get the value. And up comes the totally awesome. Toad away. Nope. I don't want to see that. All right, we're going to go ahead and take that Magna Hut. This is ours now. Toad's going to go ahead and recur back this Xyz Remora here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make the Xyz Armored Fortress now. So, yes, this is actually, I think, the combo that I really like here is the fact you'll get to just extend, extend, extend. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab the Reincarnation Unveil Mill here. And you're going to grab the full armored Xyz good stuff here. So this is always treated as an armored Xyz, um, an Xyz armor, an Xyz monster equipped, but this cannot be destroyed by battle. And once per turn, if it battles, you can return one equipped spell equipped to that card to immediately Xyz in a water monster. And then during the end phase of this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can equip it to an Xyz monster you control. Free little value on the equip side of things here. Now you're going to go see the former Crystal Ray Lancer being stopped up on top of that. And we're going to go ahead and set set. And we have done our job. All right. So we're going to see the, oh boy, here it comes. The Sengen summoning away. We're going to go ahead and ogre it. Good call on the ogre. I, I do like that a lot. We're going to go ahead and bring up the four armored Xyz to rank up into the Dark Knight Lancer here. Just so we can do our thing. You do see the Fadra and the Chandra coming on down here. Oh boy. They're going to go ahead and attack, uh, attempt to attack on the Chandra. Uh, but we are going battle phase. You do see the Think there. All right. Uh, attempting to do the thing. At the start of battle phase, we're going to go ahead and use the Lancer here to go ahead and equip the Bahamut Shark to go ahead and do its thing. But they're going to go ahead. Nice, nice ogre here. All right. All right. And uh, fun little interaction here, by the way. Uh, we can actually protect ourselves here with our nice little effect. Um, a lot of people might not actually know that, but all right. Ah, we're going to go ahead and get impermed here. There's the sink away, which they're trying their best here. We go ahead and get the vacuum sucked up. And mission accomplished. Four Dark Knight Armor Raid Lancer coming in clutch with the value town. I uh, I will say, I, I was actually genuinely surprised. See what you can actually do with New Era Sharks. Good stuff. As we slam on in to game two here. And of course, I assume that we have made the, is the Tempai player actually going to go first here? Ah, they are going first. They're, they're actually going to activate the Sengen summoning here, and then they're going to slam down Pot of Prosperity. Very bold of you to broadcast that you have a Sengen summoning here with the Pot of Prosperity. I would not have done that in that order, but okay. I'm going to go ahead and excavate six. Wow. All right. We're going to go ahead and grab a Kaiman off of that too. They're going to go ahead, Kaiman on into the Fadra. All right. Um, and then Sengen summoning mill off the Pydra, Fadra it on back, and then you just to clear up there, all right, 
they wouldn't have been on the bottom because we, we sang in summoning out of that anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make the spheres. And we're gonna go ahead and pass, turn on over to our opponent. Hey, look, we have D-Barrier, Sengen Summoning, or Sengen Kaiman, the Imperm, Field Spill Up, and we have the Heretic Heavenly Spheres. Wow, I love this game. Like, this is this is everything that you love to see out here. We're gonna go ahead and Imperm the Spheres, just to go ahead and get it triggered. They bounce back that. Go ahead and trigger on in to the Fadra. Fadra, revive the Pydra. Pydra, go ahead and grab a free Sengen uh, Kaiman from the deck. We're gonna go ahead and Harpoon a Reveal here, all right, with the Crustal Shark. Go ahead and deploy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and revive, and we're gonna get deburied. And then we're hitting that concede button. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> it's actually what happens. Interesting stuff here. All right, game number three. All right, what do we have here? Hey, look, we have Fenrir, Shifter, Feather Duster, Valor, and Chandra. Meanwhile, we have Imperm, Bahasol Shark, the Harpooner. The Big Jaws and the Angler. Wow. Okay. What do we do here? We're going to go ahead and get Shiftered. Oh, boy. Just what I want to see. Can Sharks play through Shifter now? I Honestly, I think that's the question of the day here. You know, this, typically when you look at Sharks, you're like, well, the deck needs to have its graveyard. The deck is so very reliant on the stepping stones just to be able to get the revives and things. But oh, maybe, maybe that's not the case. We'll go ahead and Harpoon her on up here. All right, we reveal the big jaws. All right, we do lose the harpooner, but big jaws is going to go ahead and get us a nice little abyss shark from our deck here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to normal summon up our dear friend Buzzsaw Shark. No fear of the wild. Buzzsaw is going to go ahead and bring up our angler here. We're going to go ahead and overlay it on to the stealth kraken here. All right, mission accomplished. All right, we're going to go ahead and now it's abyss shark time. All right, I love this card. So if all monsters are water, you can special summon this, then you can add a level three, four, or five fish monster from your deck to your hand, and then for the rest of this turn, you get water locked, um, which is fine. Um, that's not a problem whatsoever. All right, so there's the abyss shark. All right, gonna go ahead and get deployed. We're gonna go ahead and get a free drake shark from our deck. So this card is a pobbler in effect here because if this card is added from your deck to your hand except by drawing it, you can special summon it. This card can be treated as two materials for the exceed summon of a moderate water monster that uses three or more. And then a shark drake exceed monster that has this card as material gains the effect of you detach two materials from this card, target a spell and trap card on the field, and attach it to this card as material. All right, so look, it is Drake Shark time to extend. And we get to bring down our Silent Angler here as well. They, they have to save the Angler for the end of the extension here because this does lock you out of special summons for the rest of this turn from the hand. You do see we're going to go ahead and Bahamut Shark time. We're going to go ahead and make a Toad here. Now we get to do the Full Armored Xyz subline of play here. Go ahead and detach two. Go ahead and grab the Full Armored Xyz and the Reincarnation Unveil Mill here. And then we get to go ahead and make an actual shark drake over here. Um, it's been a long time, buddy, but that's fine. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to make the shark drake leviathan because we can exceed some of this by using a rank four shark. And then we have to discard a spell card to basically act as the rank up. But the thing we care about here is this little subtext here that says once per turn, you can detach a material from this card, target an effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects, and if you do, change its attack and defense to zero. All right, that's gonna be very critically important here. You do see we're gonna go ahead and make the full armor crystal zero lancer here on the side as well. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, pass turn on over our opponent. So. We're on a Stealth Kraken, we have the Shark Drake Leviathan set up, we have Crystal Lancer here, and we have a totally awesome loaded on up here. I mean, mission accomplished. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get Feather Dustered. Well, you know, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and rank on up into the former Dark Knight Lancer here. We do lose an Imperm, which is fine. Hey, look, it's Fenrir. All right, Fenrir's gonna go ahead and attempt to trigger on in to a free Fenrir, all right? They're gonna go ahead and deploy the Chundra here, which, guess what? It's a water monster, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this on off now. All right, they're gonna go ahead and attempt to Fenrir here, which is uh, target. Lancer does resolve. And this is where I love this game. They're gonna go ahead and attack with this, and guess what? Shark Drake, go ahead and make it zero, and then you crash on in and you take all that damage. Hmm, you know? feels really good to see <laughs> nice well 
you seen it, everybody. Sharks actually did it. They played through Shifter. Wow. I genuinely, I enjoyed that. That was that was pretty cool to see. So, uh, what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace. Patrons. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.